12 common PvP mistakes that players make in EVE Online. And trust me, I've made them all. EVE Online is a game with many forms of more subtle PvP, such as market manipulation, scamming, theft, and even diplomacy. But the most detailed type is space combat. Even within the realm of space combat PvP, there are many different flavors, and naturally, it's complicated. This means that even E-veterans like myself can never fully master PvP, and although new players are far more likely to make mistakes, older players still make these kinds of mistakes quite frequently. For the best of us, actions that prevent these mistakes come second nature. However, sometimes we get tired, lazy, sloppy, or even arrogant, and still commit these PvP sins which can often result in hilariously embarrassing ship losses. Now there are many more than 12 mistakes a player can make in PvP, but these 12 I'm going to talk about because they seem to be the most common. Number 1. Forgetting to bring ammo and other essential consumables. All offensive weapons in EVE require some type of ammo. Even lasers, although it's not technically ammo, require focusing crystals to function. It is embarrassing enough to undock try to load ammo in your guns and realize that you left it in the hangar bay of the station. It is far worse to engage in the heat of combat and realize you have no ammo to fire your guns in the heat of battle. This also applies to other essential consumable items, which may include cap boosters to keep you from running out of capacitor charge, nanite paste for certain repair modules, scripts for things like tracking computers or e-war, and Another weapon that might be kind of like ammo, and that's combat drones. Combat drones are a very common secondary weapon, and in many cases the primary weapon, so you don't want to forget those little guys too. Number two, undocking with a module that is offline. Sometimes essential modules, such as turrets, are offline and will not function. This can be fatal if you do not notice it before getting into a scrap. There may be a number of reasons why it's offline. Perhaps your character doesn't have the required skill points to run the weapon, propulsion mod, or repair module, which means you have a ship fitting that is bad for your character. You'll have to train up those skills, or go with a lower tier module that you can actually use. It could be that the module has overloaded the power grid or CPU capacity of your ship. Most weapons or modules require a certain amount of power grid or CPU to run, which is a static value provided by the ship and some of your skills. Larger modules or weapons require more CPU and power grid, and in many cases the game will let you fit something like say an afterburner meant for a cruiser on your destroyer. This doesn't mean it will run due to the power grid and CPU requirements and thus it will simply remain offline, unless you figure out how to make it work. Also if a module is damaged to 100% it will go offline. Modules can be damaged from overheating them to make them more effective and this can burn them out. In fact, overheating and burning out a module is another mistake people make, but I digress. If a module is burnt out, even after being fully repaired, it remains offline until you manually online it again. Number three, forgetting to lock the target. Yes, really, this can happen. You're in the heat of battle, you're busy activating things like the repper, launching drones, positioning yourself in the best place, and oops, you forgot to actually lock the target. No wonder your weapons aren't doing anything. This may seem like a very silly and obvious mistake, but yes, it can and does happen. Eventually people realize it, but then it may be too late. Number four, forgetting to actually fire on the target. Here again, you're so busy with non-weapon concerns, getting the target, things like getting the target warp scrambled so it can't warp away, making sure your positioning is right, and maybe, just maybe, you'll notice he isn't actually taking any damage. That's because you forgot to push F1 to actually activate the weapons and shoot him. Number five, forgetting to turn on essential modules. Most ships have modules such as afterburners, stasis webifiers, warp disruption, and others for a reason. For example, the target can just warp away if you forget the warp scrambler. They can run rings around you or put themselves in an optimal position if you do not turn on your afterburner. If you're in a ship built for speed, not tank, then you're dead meat if you do not use the micro warp drive, etc. 
These are usually newbie mistakes, but even older players make them too. Number six, forgetting to launch and use combat drones. Combat drones are the most common secondary weapon in the game, and for many ships, they are the primary weapon. I've seen players rush into battle in a ship that specializes in the use of these combat drones with their underpowered guns blazing, but neglect to launch a single drone. You must get these drones out there in space and you must tell them to attack. Use the F hotkey, which means fight. And make sure they are actually fighting, not just sort of hanging out. Number seven, attacking neutrals on a low sec gate or station, but being destroyed by gate guns. So you're flying along in a low security space where you're free to shoot people without interference from the NPC police. You're in a frigate or destroyer which are not the tankiest ships in EVE, you come upon a stargate and oh look, there is someone in a little frigate just sitting there, hanging out. What a noob, you can just shoot them, right? Wrong. If you attack someone on a low sec stargate who is not a criminal, pirate, or suspect, you will suddenly find yourself taking damage from seemingly nowhere. But they are coming from somewhere, the gate sentry guns. And because you're in a mere frigate or destroyer, you will probably find yourself in a pod floating next to the burning wreck of your ship. Those sentry guns do a total of over 300 DPS all the way out to 150 kilometers and they don't miss. So unless you're in a ship that can tank those gate guns or you know certain maneuvers, don't go shooting neutral non-criminals on stargates. Number eight, going AFK while in a dangerous place. So you need to go AFK to cook dinner or take care of some real life business Rather than docking up your ship or logging out of the game, you warp to what we call a safe, or a location in the system far away from any stations or planets where you cannot be easily approached. And you walk away from your computer. Or worse, you warp to a point, say about 100 kilometers from some remote planet or moon, and call this good enough. But you're not actually safe in either of these cases, especially if you're AFK for a long period of time. You see, there are these little things called combat scanner probes, and they can be used to pinpoint your ship, even at a deep safe, and provide a warp in right on your six. Now for those players who suck at using scan probes, it can take them a while, and the descanner will show them in space, if you're paying attention, of course, and then you can scoot. But if you're not paying attention, you could be in trouble. Now those who are good at probing have techniques that can pin you down quickly, sometimes without a chance for you to even see them on D-Scan. You'll come back to your computer with your dinner or beer or whatever, and you will be in a pod floating next to the hulk of your dead ship, or even in a new clone if they decided to blast your pod as well. So sad, you should dock up if you can, or at least log off, especially in a busy area of space that isn't high sec. Number 9 paying no attention to where your ship is going. I see this all the time, both in and out of battle. You've aligned your ship at full throttle towards some random location, and for whatever reason, it hasn't registered that you're um actually moving. This can be bad, even while not in combat, for a number of reasons. Let's say you're waiting on the Stargate for the command from your fleet commander to jump, but you've flown too far away from the gate to jump quickly. This is just one example of a standby scenario where you were to hold good position and you have drifted way out of position due to negligence. This happens in combat as well, where instead of positioning your ship relative to your opponent, as sometimes you need to hold certain ranges or orbit, you have inexplicably sailed off in some weird direction. Even though I see the mistake from certain players over and over, this one confounds me as I rarely make this mistake. Why people drift or fly away confuses me to this day. But don't do it. Pay attention to where you're going. If you're getting tunnel vision and about your position, try not to have the camera looking all the way into your ship's backside, but zoom out to get a better overview of the situation. Number 10. Shooting a friendly, or station, or stargate. Yes, this happens, even to me. People misclick and rather than shoot the bad guy, they shoot their fleet mate, or perhaps they are waiting on a stargate for a target, and rather than actually targeting the enemy, they misclick and target the stargate or space station. This can have unpleasant consequences. 
Sometimes this can happen when you're trying to remotely repair a buddy, but along with the repair module you activate weapons or send your drones too. Perhaps you forgot to target the bad guy and you're caught up in the heat of the moment. Sometimes this is funny, but it's not funny at all if you keep doing this over and over again, and yes, I have seen people do that. Number 11. Attacking someone in high sec without realizing you're in high sec. It could be that you're a low sec, null sec, or wormhole dweller, and you're used to having your safeties off so you can shoot whoever you want. But you come back to high sec for a supply run or some other errand, you undock and see a little vulnerable frigate right there. So without remembering where you are, you shoot it, and then blap, the Concord NPC police come in and utterly devastate your ship. This is only one of many scenarios where someone may attack another in high security space, but without fully understanding the consequences. Number 12. Choosing the wrong fight. Now all of the previous mistakes covered may be the result of basic inexperience, fatigue, tunnel vision, etc. But choosing the wrong fight is a much deeper topic where even psychology comes into play. This is a mistake that 99% of PvPers make in EVE, even veterans. Occasionally you'll see someone winning almost all the time. This is because they've discovered the setup that works for them and they're using it over and over and they only choose the fight that they are going to win. This is fine, but not all PvPers in EVE consider this a fun and interesting challenge. Most of the time, we are in a situation with a lot of unknowns, and in spite of this, the fight is taken anyway. But let me get back to basics. It is common sense that most of the time, a solo Tech 1 frigate is not going to destroy a cruiser. Taking this fight would generally be a mistake. But beyond common sense, it may not be obvious to you newer players that, say, your Tech 1 Merlin class frigate is not likely to destroy a Federation Navy Comet Tech 1 frigate simply because you're unfamiliar with the Comet due to inexperience. Now, you can rush into this fight if you want to, and you might even win, although it is unlikely. And you learned this through trial and error, what you can and cannot do. Of course, there are better ways to do this as well. You can take the time to study the situation. You could click in the Comets info panel and see that, oh, this is a Navy issue frigate, not just any Tech 1 frigate, and it has a very significant bonus to hybrid turret damage and tracking speed, much higher than your Merlin. An even deeper dive shows that the Comet has a large drone bay. Perhaps you could look at the player as well. If it shows a veteran player who is not only 10 years old, but has a negative or pirate sex status, there is a pretty good chance that they know what they're doing. If the target's a newer player in an NPC corp, well, this is where you might actually be able to win, even in an inferior ship. There are even more thorough ways to find out about your potential opponents, even down to the amount of DPS their ship is likely to put out, and what damage types they are most vulnerable to. Not all targets that appear vulnerable are all that vulnerable at all. This is called bait, and traps are extremely common in EVE. Some are so clever that the only way to figure them out is to spring them. And finally, a psychological situation can certainly cause you to take the wrong fight. And these psych reasons are many. For me, it's often because I'm simply too hungry to get the next kill. Perhaps because I took a loss earlier, but have become too exhausted to be competent anymore. For others, perhaps they have a need to prove themselves to their friends and corporation. Uh, perhaps it's a matter of pride. Yes, people can be manipulated into fighting with the right kind of talk in local chat. This could be something as simple as insulting their manhood or making their mark mad enough to undock and take that fight, sometimes over and over again. If you really want to be at least competent in PvP, don't let your base emotions take the reins. Keep your state of mind in check. Think it through. I want to wrap up by also pointing out that if you do not PvP in EVE Online, you are missing out on the best part of the game. Yes, there are veterans who do nothing but PvE, mine, or do industry for years, and these are strong elements of the game, but PvP in EVE is quite possibly the most sophisticated and content rich in comparison to any other game out there. So undock and fly dangerous.
By the way, our corp is small right now, but I've decided to go ahead and shamelessly recruit again. So if you're interested in joining a small PvP corp, give us a look. We do have certain requirements. Uh, the information is in the description below. The corp is Interstellar Booty Hunters, and you can find our Discord information in the in-game chat, Booty Tiki Bar. I had a bit of a cold while recording this, so there's many retakes. Feel free to enjoy that, and remember to subscribe, like, and watch all my videos. Until next time. Sometimes essential modules... <laughs> retake. This can be... F oh, Christ. Retake. Larger modules or weapons require more obviously, and in many cases... Retake. Making sure your positioning and maybe... Retake. You can run things around or put... Retake. Retake.